for unknown parameters in uh, models, and these models uh, range uh, all the way from uh, in areas in machine learning and artificial intelligence. For example, a neural network is a very simplistic uh, model. Uh, and in, in earth science, there are a number of models, and what we have been used to are badlands, uh, pi reef, for example, and I have heard about Underworld and kind of know about what Underworld does, so that it, these are some of the uh, known models. And they all have, a, from a dozen, they could have a dozen to thousands of parameters. And uh, the, the problem in geoscience is that data is usually sparse, limit, limited, or incomplete. And uh, the, 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 the search for parameters in these models, uh, we know, we could use a number of optimization algorithms, but the major challenge is that a number of these models cannot use the standard optimization strategies that use gradient-based information, because gradient information is difficult to obtain. And moreover, uh, this uh, uh, evaluating a single model could be, could be very costly computationally. Hence, there is a scope for using non-gradient based approaches, evolutionary algorithms, other optimization algorithms, and so on for, for optimization. However, there are challenges in optimization as well, when the, the number of parameters increase drastically, and there are also limitations when we look at uncertainty quantification. So optimization is all concerned about getting the best or the near best solution, near optimal or near optimal solution, and it does not really cater for uncertainties naturally, but you would have to do a number of experiments using optimization algorithms to quantify uncertainty using a frequentist approach. So basically, running experiments let's say 50 times and getting mean and standard deviation and then having some sort of confidence interval around it is known as a uh, frequentist approach in statistics. So there are two schools of thought and that, the other, that is one school of thought and the other school of thought is called the Bayesian perspective or Bayesian methods. Uh, and rather than having a one solution through optimization time, one point estimate, they say. Like, so you, rather than for that parameter, maybe a value of 2.2, for example, that represents rainfall, right? Maybe that is the optimal, maybe the optimal solution is 2.5, but you got value of 2.2, which is near 2.5. So you, rather than having that, what happens when you're using optimization